You have also mentioned that you like horology. As I said, you like everything except medical science. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what is what are those? If we, talk, if we talk about mechanical watches, what are self-winding watches? Sir, self-winding watches are the one like I am wearing right now, an HMT Janta. Sir, in this, sir, the physical energy is converted into mechanical energy. First, sir, there is a crown which we wind. If we wind, it's not self-winding. Sir, self-winding, sir, automatic watches. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, automatic watches, they wind themselves by the motion of the hand. And sir, <coughs> then uh, the mainspring inside is wound automatically with the help of the movement of the hand. And then, sir, it releases power in incremental amounts and that helps it to keep its accuracy. I also have a similar watch, not exactly an HMT Janta, but a Seiko watch, which is a 70 jewel. But the sir has a one which has 25 jewel. Tell me what exactly is the difference between a 17, 21 and 25 jewel? Sir, there is an increased number of jewels in the watches. The jewels are, sir, small synthetic elements that help to reduce friction in the watch. So, the more the number of jewels a watch has, the more better it will be, the more smoother it will run and the more it will gain or it, the less it will gain or lose time. But why are we calling it jewel? Sir, because uh, once you see, sir, it is like a small pink jewel type thing. So, sir, that might be some terminology. Or that it has. used to be ruby, uh, I'm told. Sir, I do not know the exact origin why it is called jewel, but sir, when you open a watch and look at it, sir, it looks like a small jewel. Fine, thank you.